moving on to the erosional and depositional work of wind the wind mainly forms three landforms the first is mushroom rock as the word says mushroom uh, the erosional work of wind leads to cutting and eroding of the rock in the form that it creates a landform uh, which uh, which looks like a mushroom how is this uh, landform created now first of all what we see in desert areas is that there are big rocks present on the ground and the wind that blows here in these areas carries sand and dust particles with it these sand and dust particles they basically do the erosional work now because these dust particles and uh, sand particles are heavy they usually do not flow on a higher alt altitude they flow in uh, the areas near the ground only so the major erosional work they do is uh, basically near the surface only so when they start hitting the stone uh, or hitting any barrier which is coming in front of them they start eroding it so when the erosion starts the erosion basically uh, begins with the presence of soft rock or hard rock there are layers of soft rock and hard rock in a single rock so that uh, now that uh, you can see that there are layers of hard rock and soft rock in a single rock it is not possible that there will be a layer there will be a presence of layers the whole stone could be of uh, hard rock the whole stone could be of soft rock this is just a possibility that we are showing showing here so now when the uh, wind starts its erosional work so it starts eroding basically the areas near the ground so it starts first eroding the soft rock areas it starts cutting it from its edges this diagram is two dimensional otherwise it uh, you could have seen that uh, the erosion work is uh, happening on all the sides but it, in this diagram it is visible from only one side but the erosion work starts first from the soft rocks because they are easy to erode but it also starts in the areas of hard rock also slowly and gradually when uh, the erosion work moves on the stump or the surface we can say of the rock it starts getting thinner and thinner and ultimately it leads to the formation of a mushroom like structure sometimes it also happens that uh, the uh, ground or the uh, surface on which it it standing it gets so much eroded that uh, the thin layer cannot hold uh, the heavy part the heavy roof on which which is standing on it so it falls apart falls apart and the whole stone it uh, comes down on the ground and then the erosion work starts over that also so this is how the mushroom rock is formed the second kind of work or depositional work the wind does is sand dunes we are all aware that in desert areas there is uh, coarse soil grains which are known as 
sand and these uh, sand particles they blow with the air every time because the wind there it blows too much and these sand particles which blow with the air they get collected at one place leading to the formation of sand dunes now sand dunes are very unique uh, formations because these sand dunes they are not stable they are not uh, available at one place all the time they keep on moving because they are not solid uh, formations they are formations which are continuously moving with the movement of the air so whenever the wind is moving the whole dune it flows off uh, with the wind and then it finds it finds a new place so these sand dunes also are a very important erosional work of wind the next formation that the wind does is Alloys. Alloys are nothing but uh, the sand or the dust particles that are flowing with the wind. They get settled in a large area in a form of dust sheets. These that, that this area which is completely covered with dust or this dust sheet is basically known as alloys. So these are the three major formations that the wind does. Now moving on to the next source of erosion, sea waves. Sea waves are very strong agent of erosion and deposition because they are continuously in movement and their uh, strength is very strong, very much. Now, uh, sea waves basically form six formations, major formations. So, let us start with the first formation. The first one here is a cliff. A cliff is formed when the sea waves, they tend to hit the banks and they tend to erode the whole area which is touching them or which is coming in their way. So they erode the whole place uh, which is uh, coming in their contact and they uh, tend to make it flat and a cliff like formation. So this is how the cliff is formed. There is another type uh, or another way through which a cliff is formed. Sometimes what happens is that uh, there is a possibility that there are layers of soft rock and hard rock again here so the sea waves which as i told you are already uh, very strong and they tend to do a lot of erosional work in uh, these areas so because of their strength and because of their continuous movement they tend to erode the areas the land of soft rock so this soft rock area is uh, getting eroded first in comparison to this hard rock so this whole soft rock area is getting eroded here with the power of the waves with this erosion this hard rock has lost all its support all its support so now what it does is it uh, breaks down because there is no base or there is no support for it so it is going to break down from here and fall down this whole piece will fall down and then what will be left here is this uh, straight or uh, we can say a plain wall like structure which is known as a cliff the second formation the sea waves do is a cave a cave is formed whenever we see that there is any breakage or any crack in the rock which is uh, coming in the way of the sea. So the continuous hitting and continuous pressure on this crack by the sea waves it tends to uh, widen the gap and uh, it leads to then a form to a formation of a cave like structure which is known as a sea cave. Uh, the caves are again also formed with the possibility of presence of hard rock and soft rock. Sometimes it happens that uh, the soft rock layer is present in the hard rock. So the soft rock uh, layer gets eroded first and creating a cavity or creating a hole in that area leading to the formation of a cave. Now this cave, it uh, the, the, the uh, erosional work does not stop. Uh, just at the formation of the cave only it uh, because it is continuous so it keeps on hitting uh, underneath the cave also so it keeps on eroding further and then leading to the formation of sea arch 
सी आर्च इज फॉर्म वेन द वेव दे ब्रेक दी अदर पार्ट ऑफ द केव ऑल्सो एंड देन लीडिंग टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एन आर्च लाइक स्ट्रक्चर through which the water is flowing to and fro then again the erosional work does not stop only here the erosion as uh, we have told you earlier that it is continuous and it is uh moving because the uh, waves have a lot of strength so uh, the erosional work it again uh, hits uh, the arches and it tend to break the roof of the arch leading to the formation of two pole like structures so this leads to the formation of a starch a starch is formed when the roof of the arch is eroded and then leaving only the two poles or the two pillars remaining in the area standing in the water so these were the erosional work of the sea waves now moving on to the deposit depositional work of the sea waves uh, in the depositional work of the sea waves we can count first is beaches they are very common i'm sure uh, most of us know what a beach is beach is a depositional work of the sea waves that uh, sediments that uh, all the rivers have been carrying uh, to the sea and are uh, available in the sea and the uh, sea waves they carry the sediments to its banks and it deposit all these sediments to these uh, to this area so beaches are formed by the depositional work of the sea waves uh, the sediments that all the rivers are carrying to the sea uh, the sediment these sediments are further then carried by the sea waves towards its bank and in the this area the sediments which are carried by the sea waves they are deposited these sediments are basically sand particles or coarse grains of soil so this area where uh, the sediments are deposited with, deposited by the sea waves on the banks is known as a beach now the next formation that the sea waves do by the depositional work is a lagoon a lagoon is formed uh, kind of this in the same way the beaches are formed but uh, sometimes what happens that this deposition that the sea waves do it is not done in a proper way and it is uh, kind of settled away from the beaches and in the form uh, type in the kind of a sand bar leading suppose the deposition is done here and here and further on when the deposition continues this deposition tends to form a small lake like formation where there is presence of sea water only but it is cut out from the main sea so this formation is known as a lagoon so these were the formations of sea waves that the sea waves make with the erosional and depositional work the next factor that we talk we are going to talk here about about uh the erosional and depositional work of ice or we can say glaciers glaciers are frozen rivers uh, where the fresh water is present in a frozen form and these uh, glaciers or uh, the ice uh, that we are talking here about uh, it is not stable the with the change of the season they tend to get uh, melted and this molten water it moves but the movement here in comparison to the rivers or the sea waves here is very slow because there are chunks of big icebergs in it so the movement uh, that these glaciers do are very slow 
so uh, it's not like uh, uh, they are flowing continuously but still they do some kind of de uh, depositional work again because uh, they also carry some amount of sediments the uh, formation that they make uh, with the de their depositional work is known as a moraine so with this we come to the end of the chapter that uh, different factors or different sources they do with their strength they work continuously on our earth and they tend to change the surface of the earth they tend to affect our lives uh, with uh, their creations and their uh, demolitions so we cannot count that the these forces are not so strong they are very strong and they have the strength to uh, change the whole formation that we see around us and they have been doing their work continuously since millions of years back and they are continuously uh, in their work and we are seeing and we will be witnessing these changes in future as well क्यों ऐसा सर आए इसलिए नहीं